Hello everyone, Inventor719 here. And in today's video, we are going to be comparing United States versus Canadian firecrackers. Now I did a video about this a while back comparing American versus some Polish firecrackers. I called it US versus France firecrackers. It was a pretty popular video. Kind of interesting I thought. Now of course the Polish firecrackers that I bought over there were very powerful. This is more or less your standard what you'll find in North America type firecracker. The cheap ones I'm talking about. Now basically anyone who is from Canada knows that since like the 70s or 80s, I don't really remember when obviously because I'm only a 96 baby. Uh, firecrackers are actually illegal here in Canada. Um, disregard what you see over here. I'm pretty sure I read that they're only legal to buy and sell so maybe I'm not actually doing anything that bad. But anyway, what you can buy in Canada are these things called fire cracklers. Now this basically comes in a package of six of these boxes, what we call a brick. These aren't super popular, but basically they're the closest things. They look like firecrackers. They, they don't really do the same thing as firecrackers, but I'll show you in this video what they do. Basically the only difference is they have these two little holes in them. They have a really short fuse and they're really short and stubby. So before we go ahead and light them, I'll show you them side by side, and also stick around for after the comparison. I'll show you guys some other cool fireworks and explosions, because I know that's what you like about these videos. But basically, here's the side by side comparison, if I could focus on you here. So, as you can see on the right, there's the um, classic single use, oh this one's actually broken, the bottom has no clay in it. But anyway, so they are a little taller. The real firecrackers, they are thinner, they have a bit of a longer fuse, and they're a slightly different color, and of course they don't have holes in the side. They both are supposed to have the clay packaging in the end so they explode nicely. And the other main difference other than the sound, which you're about to find out, is the cost. I think when I was in the States I picked up those boxes that are like this big of a, like a hundred individual crackers for maybe a dollar. And these ones here, you have six packs of 12 each, so only 72 of them. And I think it was five bucks. Five bucks Canadian, which is still like over four dollars American. So anyway, those are the notable differences. And now let's get to the testing, and then I have a few more surprises for you guys. So we're going to be doing the testing in this little patch of grass, because it's kind of cool to have grass this time of year where I'm from. Anyway, so here's the ones we'll be playing with today. I added in a bonus one from Poland that I was talking about just, just for a nice comparison. So let's start with the lamest first, which is obviously the Canadian fire cracklers with the holes in them. They're barely fire crackers. I'll show you what they do. You should be able to see it around here somewhere. All right, here we go. Canadian fire crackler. All right, um, so it kind of just sparkles and cracks. Next up we have the standard issue American one and a half inch firecracker. I'm just gonna kind of put the end into the dirt here so you can still hear it, but you might get an explosion too. So not a, not a bad little bang, no special effects. I'm gonna do, to make it a bit more interesting, hopefully two of the Canadian fire cracklers at the same time. If I touch the wicks together, it makes it easier to light both at once. All right, so a bit of a delayed reaction. Now I've got three left. Let's go ahead and do the American ones first. Then I'll give you guys the big Polish one about the same size as my pinky for last. So for these ones, we're gonna do a damage report. So I'm gonna clear a little patch of dirt and 
put them underneath the dirt to see how powerful they are. I'm gonna put one over here. And just in case the ground's more defrosted over here, let's put one over here. I'll light this one first, then this one hopefully. So not much of a hole. So there's the hole they left. As expected, it was a little more defrosted over here. So it made a hole about up to my knuckle on my pointer finger. That one barely left a hole. Probably it was a little bit too frozen still. So now we're gonna finish off this video with this big Polish cracker. I put it in my pocket. I think it's called a Demon Extra Large, if you wanted to Google it, or may, this might just be the large variety. I'm gonna go ahead and bury it again in about the same location, only because of the whole zoning laws. I don't wanna make a lot of noise. If it was out, out in the opening, I like burying them. And you can also get a good explosion effect from them being underground so I'll move my camera off to the side so it doesn't get too dirty so here we'll go ahead and light this one here we go so I don't know if you could tell it sounded a lot louder and instead of making a hole the lid kind of just blew off if you can see that right there there's the firecracker and it kind of just shot it like a cannon so it didn't actually make a crater but if it was underground it would have for sure anyway there's my little comparison not sure how much you guys like these firecracker videos but i enjoy making them they're pretty easy and fun if you want to see me blow up anything i know you guys have liked my microwave videos in the past if you want to see anything like a toaster any other appliance or toys or anything or special firecrackers just let me know um, if you want to see any more comparison videos I have some fireworks if you like those instead of firecrackers but I think blowing up stuff is a lot more fun than lights in the sky but that's just me anyway thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed the video give it a subscribe if you liked it or want to see more and as always please like comment as well thanks for watching